So, welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie. Today joined with Jeroen, it's also going with me. And we are in a very special place today. We are actually in, I believe this hotel that we are going to explore today. It's an hotel, now you know. It's one of the most beautiful abandoned hotels in the entire world. And we are in the mountainsides of France, enjoying the views over here. And that over there, as you can see, is the hotel that we're going to explore today. I'm quite excited for it. I'm eager to see if we can get inside. So uh, let's head over there right now and explore this amazing place. Just have a look at those views. That's what we do it for. Oh, just this traveling for Urbex alone, together with the views that you get and the experiences, makes this one of the best hobbies in the entire world. Now, we found this pathway up there. Should be the hotel. So I'm quite eager to see if we can make it up there. But even if we can't make it, I still had a fantastic day. Okay, this uh, seems like a pathway some way or the other. <laughs> this is going to be quite an adventure. You see this, Jeroen? This leads up there. I think this is the way. If you want to go through the back, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. I'm mostly sure about that, but let's try it out. It's quite difficult. I found a little grip here. Here as well. These are like the roots of the tree that help me get, get up this mountain. Okay, we made it to the hotel. Oh, other explorers. Just uh, encountered some other explorers. Very good. In the picturesque rolling mountains along the French countryside, we found an abandoned hotel that has been left behind for almost three decades. Everything inside remains frozen in time. Just like the last day, customers came strolling through its doors and enjoyed its everlasting beauty and comfort it had to offer. When we came inside, we were stunned by what was left behind. It seemed almost unrealistic. This was by far the best abandoned hotel that we had ever discovered. The hotel opened in 1956. It was a dream come true for a wealthy French businessman. He had planned this project for years and this was his life's work. Over the next four decades, we ran this place like a charm and it was a well-regarded hotel and an iconic landmark and destination for the local town. But around four decades later, everything came crashing down when he got involved in a scandal. This was around the year 1994. His dream got shattered and the place got sealed up forever. Today we will venture inside and show you the remains of this forgotten beauty. So we made it inside of the hotel and this place is just incredible. But the story behind it is even more special. This place was owned by a Frenchman. His name was Mr. Marcel. And in 1956, after earning a lot of money through real estate and other businesses, Mr. Marcel decided to build his own hotel to accommodate very wealthy people in this place. 
He had this hotel for all those years from 1956 until 1992. Within 1992, he was caught in a scandal, in a tax scandal. He wanted to make some quick money and this backfired to him. And they seized all his properties and imprisoned him. And in 1994, this place got totally abandoned. Because he was the biggest shareholder, they took this place from him. And everybody who worked in here was fired. And this place just totally got abandoned. Now it's been 27 years. It has not been open since that day. And we today are gonna take you throughout this place and show you what's left behind in here. So let's go on this incredible adventure. So let's start off this exploration and we will do it here in the dining hall where I just told the story. And this place is just incredible. It wasn't the very, or it wouldn't accommodate a lot of guests, but it is a very, very big hotel. Fine dining experience would be in this room. Every single table has their own little chandelier. The tables around the big center are still made after 27 years, ready to receive some new guests. Little flower here on the table. And then in the center of this enormous room was, I think, the most important guests would sit here in the middle underneath this enormous chandelier. Literally, this is one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen. Wow. A candlelight dinner. <laughs> then right next to it, they would light up this fireplace and bring some ambience into the room. Beautiful stone fireplace, blacks from the fires that have been made in here. Wow. What a fantastic room to start off this exploration with. A stand for a microphone, maybe some live entertainment would also been, would it also have been in this room and I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it excuse me I'm still a little bit sick so my voice is not like it's always but I will try my best to tell you what I see around this place and how, how I perceive it so <coughs> excuse me there might be a little bit of hiccup throughout this video and this over here is the stairway that I came, just came down from when I told the story of Mr. Marcel and his wrongdoings in life, I, I believe at this point in his life, he's out of prison again, but I'm not sure about that. Up here, some seminars would be given. I, I saw that there was like these papers to give seminars. And then over here in the middle, you could look down on the dining hall, see the chandelier here in the middle, just fantastic. Wow, I, I adore this room, I truly do. And first off, let me just also give you a glance outside the mountain range behind the hotel. Let's go down again. And I just saw from the corner of my eye that to the left here was the kitchen where they prepared all the meals for the guests. And this one is in such a state of decay. Oh my God. Just have a look at it. That's just crazy. But everything, all the plates and cups and everything it's just left in it. Wow. Here are the dishwashers who do their job. The roof 
has just come down. All the furnaces. And here we have an oven to the side. And they would cake the, bake the cakes for the guests. I can imagine all the cooks standing here, preparing food, fine dining. Wow. The ambience in this kitchen. <laughs> A paper roll completely decayed over the years. Wow. France is also known for their pastries. And I think this was the pastry section of the kitchen. You can see a big table here, a big wooden table, where they would, where they would prepare them on. A mixer here to the side. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic to see. From the kitchen, we're gonna wander further into the hotel. The window is just broken here. Wow. Look at this, a completely glass wall. There's only one thing that this can mean. Down the stairway here, I see a stairway here to the side. It's gonna be a spa or a swimming pool or something like that. Wow. Look at this marble stairway. Let's go down it. Let's check out this basement. Yes, exactly, exactly. In the back there we see this swimming pool. Oh my God. Look at this and it's actually enormous. Just enormous. Wow. Now, unfortunately, without waters, without water after all those years. Is this a shower? So you would shower right in front of the swimming pool where everybody could see you, but they had tinted glass windows in there for your own privacy. <laughs> and what's even more spectacular for this swimming pool is that, that here in the back, they had this cute fireplace to give some ambience to the room. Wow, amazing. Oh, and here in the back, they even had like another little Jacuzzi, I think. Shower there. And even a sauna in this basement. Look at this. The spoon to put water on the fire, water on the coals is still here. Let's close that up. Mr. Marcel, he had such an amazing hotel and decided to throw it all away just for some extra money. It's just crazy. The dressing rooms, changing rooms are still here as well. Even a bathrobe left behind from that time. The swimming pool is only opened from eight until eight. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, there's also a storage area, I see over here, where they stored all the documents of the hotel. Dating back all those years. Oh, 1989, it says over here, 87. I'm not gonna take out any of these documents because they will probably reveal the location of this hotel. And that's something that I definitely don't want. Amazing to see. All the invoices of the hotel are over here. Look over here. It's all just peeling away. DK all throughout this place. Oh my God. I love the wallpaper here to the side. The flowery wallpaper. Let's go through this. Let me see, mirror doors, 
to the left of us. And that leads us into, oh yes, this is a check-in area. Here where you would get your key and everything. Wow. A marble desk in front of it. <laughs> Look at this elevator. It's completely painted with beautiful countrysides of France. Isn't that just spectacular? And this is going to lead us up later to the bedrooms that we're going to check out. But first, let's see over here. Oh, these prices are still in French francs. The old French currency that's not been around for more than 20 years right now. And this was the office where Mr. Marcel conducted his work from. As you can see, the last calendar date in here is 1994. Wow. Over here, you can even see something that we don't see anymore today. These are exchange rates for different currencies when people came in here. So this is my country, Belgique. And we had the, uh, the Belgian francs, the Swiss francs, the German mark and Deutsche mark, it says over here. And every country had its own uh, currency in Europe. That's not the case anymore. So you would come here and you ha had to change your money in this hotel. Quite crazy. Even Japan is listed on this list. And the States, of course, Canada, Italy. Wow. The keys for all the rooms. About 40 rooms, I think, are in this place. And up here, what's really crazy, in 1993, the hotel that we are standing, standing in right now got the Sup Superior First Class Award from the official hotel guide. And later, the next year, Mr. Master Held did what he did. That's just crazy. Behind the desk, and here you can see the room itself. Okay, there's even more to see downstairs here. <laughs> You wouldn't believe it, but it's true. I think this was maybe the breakfast hall for the guests. Then over here they had another room where in the evening maybe they could get some drinks. And what I really adore about this room is this incredible stove here to the side. A white, I don't know, don't know exactly the material that it's made from, but it's just a beautiful stove that you that you mostly see only in the country of France. But this room has kind of a German style to it. Really love it. An upholstery chair here in the middle of the room. Beautiful upholstery chairs. And what you can see from this room that makes it really German is these corner benches. The Hupanken, they say in German. So that, that makes this room very German. And of course, the style and the brown, the brown wood on the, on the walls, that makes it really German. Quite love it. You can see there's even spider webs all around this place. Wow. There's another room back here. This one seems to be closed. You can clear, get a glimpse of it through the window. So your room was just outside. Is there something nice to see that we did not show yet? Oh, gonna come as well. Oh, it's quite nice outside. The temperature is perfect. Wow. Such a beautiful view before we go upstairs. The back side of the hotel, of course. Also want to show that. Really love it. Near yeah, that, like a little garden where the, could, where the guests could walk through. Not very big, but quite enjoyable. Let's now stroll upstairs and show you those incredible bedrooms that I was been talking, that I have been talking about, but that, that I actually have not seen yet because I saw pictures of it. So. I hope they are still in the same state as they used to be. 
Let's have a look. Okay, the first floor, I saw that the numbers go up to 300. So there are going to be three floors throughout this hotel. Let's see. This one's closed. Damn. No way. <laughs> this one's also closed. No way. There's even no, no doorknob anymore. Even not meaning this. Ah. Oh no. Luckily, there's one open over here. Okay. Let's go into this room. Beautiful white. Oh, this has been emptied out. No way. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Sometimes they clean out places to deter people from going there and taking pictures. So I hope that's not the case for this one. That would be a bummer. Okay, I think I found something over here. Yes. <sighs> Look at this room. This is the first furnished room in this place. It's like a beautiful combination of DK, but still very nice furniture. Yeah, and I think these were, this was one of the cheaper, more budgety rooms of the, of the hotel. As you can see, it's very small, very small bed. But also, yeah, still quite nice. See the mold is growing on the sides of this room, taking it over. But on the other side, the bed. It's still made. I love the curtains, the red curtains in this room. We also had a little bathroom with a bathtub and everything. Wow. Let's now go to the other side. Most rooms seem kind of empty and not very interesting. So I'm not going to bother you with all these hotel rooms. Oh. Here it says the prices of the hotel, demi pension. I don't know the conversion anymore till today's currency, but it says over here 420 francs. I can unfortunately tell you how much that is. Closed. I hope to find some cool rooms. Nothing seems kind of closed, but this one. Oh, welcome to an amazing bedroom. Look at the wallpaper in this room. That's typically French. That's typically French. And again, a still made bed with matching, <laughs> with matching blankets on the bed. The same as the wallpaper. It's just wonderful to see. Mini fridge in this room. And here the guests would could sit in the evening. Maybe play a little board game. I can also always imagine things happening in places that not have life anymore, that don't have life anymore. Wow. And to the back side of it, a vanity for the woman to make herself beautiful. I just checked those other rooms. They are not very interesting. But I can see over here. There's a little plaque saying chambre, or, so I'm going to just say it in French. So, so quatre and cinq, and that means 104 and 105, of course. And that takes us to this part of the hotel, but there's a very small staircase. Okay, let's see over here. That one seems closed. Yes, it is again. But this one's open. And it seems kind of nice, actually. What's going to be behind those closed doors? I really want to know now. Wow. Oh, <laughs> look at the wallpaper peeling off in uniform from the wall after all those years. It takes 27 years for that to happen, as you can see in this place. It's this over here. Oh, that's all of room service. Crazy. I love this room, the furniture inside of it. Beautifully designed drawers. Wow. And on all these matching cabinets, and even the beds match with them. 
what's quite fascinating to me. Just love this room. <laughs> and the wallpaper is just the most fascinating thing about it. Okay, let's go up to the second floor right now. <gasps> On this side, it's even worse with the wallpapers. Just peeling off everywhere. Wow. I don't film that many hotels, but in my opinion, they are quite interesting. They don't hold stories like houses do, but they have their own unique characters. And somebody put that, like his life's work into this. And it definitely reflects it. Oh, this room. Very uniquely designed again. Just love it. I just love how every single room has its own unique style. Oh, the heart shaped bed. And then these cabinets, built in French cabinets. They're also very special. Wow. Here we got another room. Look at this. This one has a pink design on it. What a place. And then we come again into the main part of the hotel. Was there something? It's nothing. It's nothing? Okay. This one, oh, this, this looks very nice. Look at this. A little sofa. A green sofa, Paul Street sofa at the end of this room. Quite fascinating, to my opinion. Here would have been the bed back in the day. Okay, one room after the other. I'm not gonna enter into every single room. Is this one nice? It's a, nice one. a blue one. A blue one. <laughs> We've not seen a blue one yet. Wow, the entire room is just blue. Still made. Incredible. Oh. And here we can get a glimpse of that beautiful view that you would have when the trees were a little bit lower and trimmed maybe. But now it's still fascinating as well. What a room. Totally amazing. Was this one something? Yeah, it's, it's yeah? a very nice one. Oh, and we have a green room. Anybody want a green room? <laughs> I do. Look at this one. Wow. Again, the heart shaped beds. Presenting this room. Just fascinating. Also with the built in cabinets. Coat hangers are still there. Wow. I love also the, the doors, the glass doors that they put in this place. I've not seen this before in an hotel. Everybody has their own style. Let's look at this one here to the side. Okay. No way. <laughs> Whoa, a built-in bedroom into the wall. That's, that's, I'm gonna say it again, that's so French. That, like, little curtains above the built-in part. Two beds, two cute little beds next to each other in the middle of this, this encavement. Wow. A lamp. Such a unique character. Gives this to the room. Just love it. A cute couple would have stayed in this room. Enjoyed. The bedroom in here. The beds. Amazing to see. They even had the bathroom. Oh, the sink is also amazing in this bathroom. Wow. 
Okay, let's go further. Wow, and in the middle of the hallway here, we have this, this seems like a bit of a Portuguese cabinet. You can see, I've seen it a lot in Portugal. Beautiful carvings in there. The housemates would store the bed linen in this cabinet. I don't understand why it has only one mirror. It's not been taken out or anything. There's even still a little bit of bed linen in there. Wow. 213. This one seems quite empty. And yes, it is. Only a chandelier still hanging in this room. But I want to check out the balcony on this one. Get some hot air. Oh, that feels quite unstable where I'm standing on. I'm not gonna go any further. I'm gonna let you enjoy the view. Jeroen just told me that I only have to check out this one last room on this, on this floor. And that's room 217. Okay, let's go in there. It is already very different from the other rooms because there's multiple doorways. Watch this. This seems like nothing. A few picture frames on the wall. And like a little walk-in closet, even on this floor, uh, on, in this room. I think this, yeah, this used to be the grand suite for the very rich people that came to this hotel. They had a sofa in the middle of their room here. It had like a little living area in their hotel room. It's crazy. Look at that. The drinks are still left on the table. No, I think this was from a shill session of some young people that came in here. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Laugh how it looks. Over here to the right is the bedroom. Wow, so much mold in here. Seems like it's coming down. This is not the be most beautiful bedroom that I've seen in this place. They could have done something more for the grand suite, to my opinion. This this chandelier, it's just it seems like paper or something like that. Not very nice. frame on a wall and this was their bathroom nah this doesn't seem like a grand suite to me <laughs> I wouldn't book it and then to the right here we have one last little room this uh, and this and yeah, I think this was more like the family suite so you could put the children here and uh, for mother and father would sleep over here to the side now it's time to wander up to the last floor of this place and check out the rooms over there <sighs> look at the skylight coming in uh, coming into this hotel room looking up out in the church through the window Oh, we are presented with a little drawer over here. Lovely little drawer. Okay, let's check out these rooms. Knock, knock. Oh my God, what a huge amount of mold on the wall. I'm not gonna go further into this room because it's quite unhealthy. Wow, oh, these beds, they look kind of nice, to my opinion. The bathroom we have over here. Squeeze through here. Let's have a look at the left side of it. This also seems like an empty room. This one's locked up. Yes, again. And there's one last room over here. To this side. It seems like it has been used. It's a bit of a storage area. Yes, indeed. 
don't know what this was. <laughs> but I quite like this chandelier hanging here, this oil lamp chandelier. Oh my God, I just found a room and this, to my opinion, is the most beautiful bedroom in this entire place. Look at how it is designed. This, this totally looks like a heaven bed to me. It's not exactly a heaven bed, but I just like the frame around it. Wow. <laughs> the bed in the middle there, even the upholstery chair in front of the bed here, just gives this room some character. This is much better than the grand suite that we just saw. And then when you look out of the window, you get a full glimpse of beautiful France in the background. Wow, isn't that just amazing? Oh, the window is just open here. Wow. Hey! <laughs> I just looked to my right and Yeruna is sitting there on the balcony. <laughs> oh. Are there more beautiful rooms up here? Have you seen any? Uh, I have no idea. So good. Okay, let's have a look. <coughs> and let's now have a look if there are any more beautiful rooms on this last floor. I'm quite excited to see that. Okay, from the heaven bedroom. Let's see if this last floor has anything more special to hold for us. Why are all these doors closed? Ah, oh, it's so bad. No, this one is still quite nice. It's the same shape of the room downstairs. And that one has a sort of a chasse long in there, but not really a chasse long, but this one has a true sofa. Just love it. Beautiful wallpaper as well in this room. Is there anything more you ruin? Where are you? That room. That room? Okay. I hear a strange noise coming from upstairs. Is there a la even one more floor? Okay. Oh, this one. This one is amazing. 27 years of abandonment. Mr. Marcel, what did you do? So many people could have slept in this place and enjoyed themselves, enjoyed this beautiful furniture that's still in here. It's quite sad, to my opinion. Wow, love this room. I wanna know what that noise is upstairs. This one, also locked. It sounds like an electrical device. <laughs> I'm just gonna look, take a look. It's getting louder and louder when we go higher up the staircase. Oh my God, what is that? Okay, we're going on some sort of an attic right now. It's a fan up there. Whoa. I hope you can still hear me. But there are machines running up here. Whoa. So that means power still, in, still works in this place. Crazy. And here we are on the attic of the hotel where even the motor this is the motor of the lift, of the elevator that we saw downstairs. <sighs> Crazy. We just had a closer look at what this device is, but this is a telephone antenna that they installed on this abandoned hotel. Look at this, and we can just walk into the machine room where the antenna is controlled. So if I would push any of these buttons, this whole town would be without internet. That's just crazy. I think we should close this room. Nobody should put this down without internet. Doesn't it close anymore? Oh my God. How crazy is that? And I think they also recently installed it. I guess you can see. 
the installation has been very recent. I think it doesn't close anymore. We have to leave it like that. It's broken. It's broken. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Just like that. What a totally amazing place. This is by far one of the best hotels that I've ever filmed. Of course, it's a little bit different than the mansions that I normally film, but I hope you quite enjoyed this one as well. If you did so, please like the video, subscribe down there to be notified every single week of a new episode. And also go into the description. There is a link to Patreon and you can help us support us there because we drove six hours to get to this place and the fuel to get here is quite expensive. So thank you very much, everybody. And I will see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye-bye. I love you.